Yo, what's going on YouTube? Terrific97 here coming at you with a new playthrough. Just like I promised. Now, this, ooh, as long as there is life in us, as long as we hold the will to survive, knowing no difference, we fight for our masters. For we are born to fight and raised to win. Okay. Pokemon Sardonyx. Hey, look at look at Giratina just bobbing and weaving. Well, just bobbing. Hold on. I'm gonna lower this volume some. Alright, I'm back. So, I actually found out about this game through one of my subscriptions. Uh, you know, I'm gonna shout out and all that fun stuff. Uh, Picastri. Uh, which I'm pretty sure that he doesn't at either way <laughs> we're just gonna dive into this cool game I saw him play some of it and uh, I was like hey you know what this looks amazing I want to play this for my channel and you know the dev said that it's fine you know, everyone can play it all that good stuff I would link the game in the description but they don't want me to do that they want me to actually link the website to download it from just to make sure that it's authentic co authentic copies but I don't know if I'm gonna do that either because <laughs> that's a lot of work to keep you know putting the description either way I may or may not do it we'll find out but I kind of hope that you know you guys enjoy all right now apparently this game does have some strong language and like I said my game is still my game um, should I play this on set? I'm gonna play this on set. We're doing it. Um, yeah, I don't really care about the rest of this stuff. Screen border? Is this gonna mess up something? <gasps> oh, that's cool. Do you guys even see that? No, you don't even see it. <laughs> that's funny. Alright, well, yeah, we, we don't need the screen border. Alright, that, that'll do. But yeah, this game does apparently have some strong language. Oh, hold it. Before we start this game, let's take a moment to decide how you want to experience this adventure. <laughs> Can I skip this part? <laughs> Go on. Now, just to let you know, this game contains strong language. See, now, just so I can get the full version of the game... Because I know that this is like supposedly a super edgy game or whatever. I'm actually not going to make this PG. And you now, since I am still a PG channel, I will skip over that. So that way, I don't know. Technically, I'm not liable. I don't know. <laughs> if you guys choose to read it, <laughs> if you guys choose to read it, then there we go. You just viewer discretion. There's going to be strong language. I'm not going to say the strong language unless it kind of slips out. It shouldn't slip out, though. But there we go. Nothing. Just wanted you to know. <laughs> it should also be noted that this game is intended to be difficult. More difficult than the official games. <laughs> Let's make it harder. No, thank you. Duly noted. Good. We also don't recommend putting yourself on a Nuzlocke challenge. Next on the list, do you wish to activate the randomizer? Um, no. <laughs> Suit yourself. Oh, and one more thing. This is not a children's game. Even beyond the occasional profanity, this game touches upon some mature and dark things that should be considered PG-16. I mean, all you guys are over 16 who watch this, right? <laughs> yeah. There will be crime. There will be death. There will be murder. Please take this into consideration. Ew. Hair in my mouth, stupid cats. <laughs> I still love my cats. If you do not like games with these types of stories, all right then. Yee. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that was. That's my excited sound. Hello, and welcome to the Ar Alteris region. It's an island region, far from places like Kanto. Trainers sometimes come here from other regions to train. My name is Annabelle Spruce. I'm the local professor of Chardil Town, and I've been placed in charge of providing new trainers with their first Pokemon. Ooh, hello. I believe you are familiar with the Pokemon that inhabit this world. 
In Alteris, however, you may encounter some species of Pokemon you probably aren't used to finding in the wild elsewhere. The two of you are coming by today to get one, right? And you're coming from Granite Town? It's not too far from here, and the wild Pokemon along the way should leave you alone until you pick up your Pokemon. That being said though, let me ask you a couple of questions. Are you a boy or a girl? I mean, I'm a big strong man. Oh crap, there we go. You're a boy, right? Last I remembered, your name is Jordan, is that correct? No, it's not. I see. So then, what is your name? Okay, I like the sprite. That's the black and white right there. I can fit my name finally! Yes! So you're terrific? Yes. You should get ready to come out to Shardale Town. Your Pokemon must be eager to meet you. But be careful on the way here, okay? Some strange things seem to be happening in Altaris. If the news is to be believed, I mean, the media's kind of fake nowadays. People in Pokemon are getting hurt, badly hurt, to the point where a Pokemon Center can't even do much for them. Training Pokemon seems to have gotten dangerous lately. Are you aware of these risks? I guess this sort of talk is depressing though. The general area around your hometown is pretty safe anyway, so you shouldn't have much trouble. I'll be waiting at the lab. Yo, that's probably the best female voice I've ever done. Alright, let's, let's hit this up. What's in the trash can? The trash can contains old wrappers of- Oh, wait, 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 wait. <gasps> There's a quest log. Oh, thank you. Because I swear, man, there are games that give you all these quests, but don't give you a way to track it. Item storage. Give me the- Yep, there goes that- um, I don't know if the icon is supposed to be down there. Oh, it might, actually. Okay, so we're gonna skip over that. But yeah, and apparently with this as well, um... Oh, yeah, yeah whoa! <laughs> Slow down. It's your Lucario L. What? Oh, terrific, you're up. You ready to go see Professor Spruce, aren't you? My time sure flies. I feel like just yesterday you were six. You watched that Lucario, <laughs> that Riolu hatch from his egg and named it L because it sounded cool. Wow. And here we are, ten years later. <laughs> Sorry, it's 11.30 at night when I'm recording this. Now you're on your way to becoming a Pokemon trainer. I can't really stop you from leaving. You are 16 after all. Just know that I'll miss you while you're gone. Do I get to keep this Lucario? Oh right, I almost forgot. I got these for you the other day. A Yeah, these are much better than the shoes you're wearing now. Put them on. Well, good luck on your journey, Terrific. Oh, thank you for not saying. Press Z to run. We wish you luck on your journey as well. Do I get to keep you? Don't worry, I'll take it. Aww. If it's not, you get into much trouble. That's the only one is for you to end up like your brother, Ray. What? Wait, what? Okay, hold up. Running key, toggle. <laughs> That's got to change. Perfect. Dude, what the heck happened to Ray? Ooh. Hello, Terrific. Are you going to get your new Pokemon now? Heck yeah! <laughs> of course, the second person that I talked to. He, you're very excited. That's good. The professor's lab is just through Route 1 to the south of town. Have fun. Make sure you get a cute Pokemon. Hey, I will, big boy. I mean, big woman. Uh, the sound is so tiny when you get used to it. I don't blame you for wanting to leave. Wow. Good day. Going on an adventure? Yes. Oh hi, could you do me a favor? My grandma got out last night trying to tear some burglar away from the house and didn't come back. He's a tough pup, so I know he's okay, but I'm worried he may have gotten lost. Could you help me and go look for him? Sure, I'll help. It's a sign bolt south, so you might... Okay, cool, I'm going there anyway. What I'm trying to do? 
might be hanging on the outskirts if you did. Thanks again. Hey, no problem. And I think that was the autosave right there. Excuse me. Come with good NPC dialogue for a video game. I believe it. Uh, actually, I know. I know he's probably not watching now, but Amy, uh, it's it's part of a Discord that I'm on. But he's making his own game, and that's pretty cool. I like this house; it's big. And uh, he actually gave me per permission to play it, which is nice when uh, when the demo comes out. So, uh, oh, and also. When the demo does come out, if the demo doesn't come out by the time we're done with this demo, which apparently there's so much content to this, so I don't think we're going to be done anytime soon. The door's locked, you should go in the front. Oh, that's cool. So, since the demo probably won't be done. Oh my gosh. Hello, hello. Sorry, I'm still setting up. Come back later. So, if the demo for his game isn't done by the time I'm done with this, I'll put um, Pokemon TCG on hold. Poor kid's just not doing any good running around like that. Who might here won't attack you if you don't have one for yourself? Oh, that's cool. What are the Pokemon? I don't have one, so I want to catch one. Oh, that sucks. So I guess it makes sense why you have to get a Pokemon from a, why you have to get a Pokemon from a professor though. I'm touching a strange. I think it's something in the water. It's probably yeah, lead man. One of the secret. It's going to be so stupid, but my name, dog. Oh, eat my pants. I mean, that's a fetish in some places. <laughs> but not with children. <laughs> oh, hello, Hoot Hoot. <laughs> Quite the battle, eh? I'm watching novices tear, tear out each other's throats. Oh, you can't go through the gate, by the way. Why not, though? Terrific found a hundred poke... Hey, get out of the way. The nerve of some people. I know, right? Shh. I'm just gonna pick up the coins and... So... Your board just picked up a hundred bucks. Hey, give me more money. I say get out the way. Dang it. What is that? Starly? Or Taylor? No fair, Rob. You can't just make <laughs> make money using the same attack a bunch. Hey, give me more money. Dang it. Alright then. But I will get the starter for I end this. I just moved to Altair's from home with my family. I hear there's a bit of a gang problem here, but it can't be worse than Team Aqua or Magma. Right? I mean... Top notch trainer. Can hold my own even against Elite Four and Hoenn. My wife has me watering a tree. <laughs> oh yeah, believe me, I get it. I'm getting married in, a, in like six months. I understand, buddy. Like a thousand hours in this game. Well, only a hundred in this version. I also played on PG and the generic game consoles, <laughs> both the 2011 version and the remastered version. That's funny. They, they put generic game console because they don't want Nintendo to shut down the game. I miss the hot springs and leverage. Oh yeah, that was another thing. So I looked at it. And another reason why, if you share the game, they don't want you to use like AdFly or anything like that. Because my brother and I came into real Pokemon Center. Let's just play <laughs> that video game all day. But, um, wait, was that a typo? Just plays that? Okay, no. But yeah, so, uh, and since AdFly is technically a way of monetization, that could be a way for Nintendo to shut down the game. And they don't want that. Uh, the fans don't want that. I don't want that because I kind of want to keep playing it. So, let's hope for the best. Wait, there we go. Anyone, kid, why are you here by yourself? One time I died. I got better though. I mean, it sounds like a kid's imagination, alright. Where am I supposed to go? So it's strange last month. It was a Pokemon, but it was really, it was a really dull, it was really dull in color. It was shiny, but not like a shiny. Shiny like metal. Wonder what it was. Hmm. Well, we'll have to find out later, guys. Sometimes Pokemon can appear in different colors. For example, a blue Electric or a red Gyarados. They're usually pretty consistent. You're not going to find a yellow Eevee, for instance. Lately, though, there have been some strange reports of Pokemon with dull, almost monochrome colors. Ooh. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. 
Benin. Yo, that's that's one of the regional variants. So this game does have regional variants. I will spoil that. I mean, the professor kind of spoiled that. Our towns are expanding lately. Getting blocked by tree stumps is pretty common. Is that a... Huh. I don't think that was supposed to be a reference to anything. I think it was legitimately just... I heard their games. They don't usually steal Pokemon, though. I wonder what they're up to. Okay, so I've been there. Sorry, I have to do my normal thing of exploring every single house. I mean, I feel like a lot of people can relate to that, though. Hello, Quilava. Cherish. Oh, hello, Terrific. Harry's at home right now. She went out to prepare to go to Shardle. I guess you're on your way, too. Well, it was nice of you to come over to say hi. Drop by whenever you can. I'm going to have to hurry up if I want to. Dude, it's just these houses are so big. Oh, wait, no. What was it? Uh, Alt. There we go. Let's do faster. That's beautiful. I forgot, because I did read the readme. This is why you always read the readme, people. Because <laughs> it just comes in handy. Man, you see one house and you see them all. Pretty sure the architects just got lazy at some point and used the same template for all houses of a similar size. I mean, hey, um... That's not laziness, that's efficientness. Efficient. Efficient. I don't have enough. Efficient. Efficientness. There we go. Couldn't say that word. <laughs> DVD input. The boy ignores you with a scowl on his face. It looks like he's doing overdue homework. Hey, I feel you, buddy. I have homework to do myself. I'm just. Uh, I'm not procrastinating. Uh, cause I'm technically already done. I just need to go over it. The teacher let me, um, take it to go over it. And if God exists, it is a weird one. Oh, alright. So, it's not even that big of a deal. I just need to go over my answers. How can not you go that way without a Pokemon? Sounds good, buddy. Buddy boy. Are you the power? Hey, kid. See a red and black bird symbol on anything. I'm running the other direction. Oh boy. Hey there, terrific. Where'd Mary run off to? Two are basically inseparable, huh? Hey. Is she my baby? Oh. Is this her? Thought you could get a head start on me, did you? Sorry, but I didn't. But I can't have you doing that. Adventure's bound to happen around the corner, and I can't let you get ahead of me. What's with that look? Okay, fair enough. We do both have a Pokemon already. Well, the only reason I, I got Cherish was because of my dad. I never really got my own Pokemon before. The same can be said about you and L. Oh, L, Lucario. Otherwise, you wouldn't be going to Charter, would you? Well, how about both of us get a new Pokemon? Come on, it'll be fun. Last one there has to buy dinner. Oh, she seems <laughs> um, really nice. You know? Okay. That's a weird tree. Think we should check it out? Trip to poke the tree. Trip to poke the tree again. Oh, hello. Blast. It seems I've been found out, yes? If I may inquire, what gave my presence away to you? Well, to be honest, it's not like a strange tree in the middle of the road is it going to get some attention. I see. I'll keep that in mind for when I next require use of methods of disguise. Come to think of it, who are you? I've never seen you around Granite. Do not divulge my real name. However, my code name, it is Looker. I am an international... Why are you telling us this? <laughs> I think I've heard of you. You were in Sinnoh, weren't you? You're the one who got rid of Team Galactic. I played a role in that, yes. Now, if I can be excused, I must get you searching for leads on the whereabouts of Team Mortis. Okay. Well, that was an interesting character. I wonder how he got rid of Team Galactic. Anyway, to Shardle. I mean, definitely with the help of someone else, though. You have to turn down this audio, man. Whoops. Hold on. I'll do it this way. There we go. I feel like that's better. 
Oh my gosh, I have 10 minutes left, guys. What am I doing? And I'll enter without one granite. Okay, okay. So I'm going to explore everything else later. I really just want to get my Pokemon up. Oh, and this berry, of course. Yes, I will take them. Okay, down. Cities are extended pretty far. We've already had some of the largest cities. Trainers have ever seen. It's a shame though. What it means is that all these trees get cut away to make room for roads and buildings. Doesn't sit well with me. I mean, look, man, you gotta progress some type of way. Let's see. Oh, wow, more berries. I'm getting. <laughs> Honestly, no, these are useful. Berries are definitely useful. Trainer tips. It's always a good idea to stock up on in case you're away from town. But it's the blue riff and sign and then if you need help. It's a Growlithe. It's wearing a collar. It must be the one you're looking for. Send it home. You sent the Growlithe back to its home. You should check in with its owner. Okay, cool. I'll hopefully remember to do that. The stars are lovely tonight. Is this Shardle? Yes, it is. Actually, no, I, I really just want to get my Pokemon. <laughs> I'm going to have to talk to everyone else in the later episode. Hello, Shanks. He has a college you can't catch it. For some reason, there's a strange statistic that gives you a slight headache. Oh. Alright. Uh, oh, here we go. Too slow, terrific. Looks like you're paying for dinner. That's fine. I have a free hundred bucks. So this is Professor Spruce's lab. Looks amazing. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go inside. Let me save. That was a side up cry. Huh, this place is a lot messier than I was expecting. I mean, there are a few boxes around, but I wonder where the professor is. Let's look for her. I don't think we should mess with this chick's stuff, man. I mean, wait, what? Where'd you go? Hey, what up? I didn't mean to click that. Whew, I almost slipped up. Dang it, nothing but lore. Does the professor have anything on battle strategies? Buzz off. Go find a roof to stand on or something. Oh, and we're the only ones here for a Pokemon. But I think the professor's asleep. Let's talk to her scientists. Professor does very for recent to intelligence of Pokemon. She does have a few theories. That other professor scoff at though. If you want to read her notes, the computers in the lab have them pulled up. She was working on them last night. She, has she been stooping for a day straight? <laughs> that dang mean few, mean boo keeps knocking down these papers. This place is hard enough to keep clean with the professor being how she is. The number of trainers have been coming through here lately. Why not too long before you got here? We had this green haired trainer coming. It looked to be pretty strong. You see one of the professor's devices are headed east. He's probably on his way to Rubina to challenge the gym leader there. Who knows, you might be able to meet him if you head that way. Okay. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, my cat's playing with my toes. Are you looking for the professor? She's probably in the lab area. Just follow the carpet. This isn't in the next room. Try the other end of the left. Well, I want to go in here anyway. Um, what's up, that Litwick? This is where we do most of our research. We are going for new trainers here. Wow. Uh, that's a lot of. Okay, wait. What do I do? I have six minutes to wrap to wrap up this episode. <laughs> I need to get. Dang it. I need to get this Pokemon. Hey, wake up. The professor is past asleep. Wake her up. You nudge your shoulder. Uh, five more minutes. Hmm. Oh, when did you get here? Well, I can't say I was expecting three trainers to arrive here at once. You must be terrific. And you must be Mary. Yes, ma'am. Excellent. Hmm, I don't think I've seen you around Shardle a few... Uh, I think I've seen you around Shardle a few times. Nice to finally 
see you here in my lab. I'd say the same if I wasn't standing around waiting for someone to wake up. Hmm? Oh, my apologies for keeping you waiting. You haven't heard. I have a tendency to overwork myself. So much so that I have a bed here to sleep in when I'm too tired to walk home. Oh, that's understandable. Being a professor and all, you must have a lot of work to do. That I do, but that's beside the point. Now then, terrific Mary and, um, Rhodey. Alright then, Rhodey. I suppose it's obvious why you're all here, so why don't we get down to business? Alright, you three, come on in now. Ooh. Solosis, Mean Boo, and Eevee. Aw, oh, they're all so cute, but why Solosis, though? Because it doesn't fit because uh, Eevee and Mean Boo evolved twice. I mean, evolved one. Well, no, I think I did. I'll, I'll explain it. And <coughs> sorry, I'm st stumbling over my words and it's making me stutter and mess up. But either way, I'll explain later why the starters are what they are because I did read that on the page. That's one of the last words I've used to describe these guys. Oh, come on, you gotta admit they're at least the tiniest bit cute. Cute's the kind of thing that'll. That's going to get you killed in all terrorists. If you can't understand that, then get out of here. Now, now, no fighting. You have plenty of time for that after you get your Pokemon. Speaking of which, uh, speaking of which, why aren't they in Pokeballs? Yeah, I was expecting to be, yeah, I was expecting it to be given a Pokeball with the Pokemon inside, like other professors are said to do. An excellent question. It actually has to do with my research. You see, as a Pokemon professor, I've researched the intelligence and obedience of caught Pokemon. This entails such things as Pokemon knowing that their trainers, knowing what their trainers mean when they call them out, call out the names and moves. Oh, you mean like Scratch or Ember? Correct. Or Dragon Pulse or Gillet, Dragon Rush or Guillotine. A bit grim, but yes, you get the idea. Anyway, part of my research is determining how a Pokemon acts if it is caught by a trainer or given to them. And I figure, if anything, today was a good opportunity to put this to a test. Wait, so we're actually going to catch our Pokemon? Does that seem a bit dangerous? In most cases, yes, but these three are well behaved, so there's nothing to worry about. Works for me. It doesn't every day you can say you caught your first Pokemon. Now then, which one of you are going to pick first? Perhaps you, Terrific. I don't know, Professor. Rhodey was here before either of us. Shouldn't he go first? Let him choose first if he wants. I don't care. Are you sure about that? Yeah. I like how we all have a different hat on, too. Yeah. Just be quick about it. I'd like to get out of here before the next millennium. Well, if it's okay with him, then go ahead. Make your choice. Alright, guys. So, who are we choosing? Huh? What What do you think? There's Eevee. So you want Eevee, the normal type Pokemon? Okay, take your time and choose carefully. Main food. Or... So you want Solosis, the psychic type Pokemon? Now, I do know that Main Foo evolves, like, super late. <laughs> so... I don't really want that, but I do want a Solosis because how often do you get, I don't know, I, I've never like used one. So this is what I want to use. And I feel like it'll be challenging because Solosis doesn't get the best moves. Yes. All right, Solosis it is. Let me give you a Pokeball to catch it with. You look terrific. Yeah, this might be a 35 minute episode. Aw, you're so cute. What happens if I throw some bait? You don't have any bait to throw. It was a nice thought, though. <laughs> you don't have any rocks to throw. Also, why would you throw rocks at this... What did this is far zone? That's funny. These are also some interesting backgrounds. Oh, boy, that's loud. I'm going to have to lower that. Um... Xavi... Actually, I'm going to name you Gestation. Hopefully I spelled that correctly. 
This is so exciting. I can't wait to show mom this mean boo I got. This Eve is a strong Pokemon. I'll take all tourists by storm. Glad to see that you three are happy with your choices. Now, if you three could... Uh, hello, Blanche. Yo, she's kind of a snack. Oh, Petra, what a surprise. Professor, I know that you're getting some new trainer started, but it's an emergency. Do you have a trainer called Zoltan? Hmm. Huh. The name's familiar, but I can't quite place it. Oh, oh, that was years ago. A boy named Zoltan came in with an Absol. The Absol seemed highly protective of him. Candy and a Pokemon, but like these three. Like the, much like these three. I believe he got an Axie. Only person I've ever met with dark red eyes. What else do you know about him? Well, I don't know much. He was from Toparic, or so I assume. You can only find Absol around there. And when he asked, he said it had been wild before he had it. No idea how he crossed the water, though he may have gotten a ride. Rather shy boy, too, stayed behind that Absol most of the time. That's all I really know, or even guess about him. I haven't heard from him since I gave him that axiom. Why do you ask? Is he in trouble or something? Let's just say that after I ran into him, something completely out of the ordinary happened. I'm mainly asking because I'm trying to find the people responsible for killing my father and... Um, excuse me? You said something about your daddy getting killed by someone? Did that guy have an electivire by any chance? I don't know if he had an electivire, and it wasn't him that did it. It was a gang. I don't know what they used to kill my dad. A Venusaur, a Beedrill, a Samurai. However, if someone in that gang actually did have an electivire, we both might be onto something here. A gang? Oh no, not them. Yes, Team Mortis. Only those jerks would do something like that. This is gonna be hard. Because <laughs> that language just rolls off my tongue. A gang? Team Mortis? I've heard of them. What does this have to do with... Are you implying Zoltans got mixed up with that crowd? I'm afraid that's a possibility, Professor. Oh no. I would... I never would have guessed that he would ever be involved with them. Terrific. Wasn't your brother part of Team Mortis? He's still in jail because of his... What? My brother's in jail? He deserved it then. Anyone who, suicide, anyone who sides with those jerks are no better than criminals. Well, yeah, they are criminals if they side with them. That's a harsh thing to say. No, I agree with you, really. Harsh or not, there can't be much good inside a person if they're involved with them. But don't worry, I'll stop them. Do I have nothing to say about my brother? <laughs> Professor, can I use your PC? Huh? Oh, sure. Thank you, and I'm sorry for interrupting. Dog, I need to save my game. <laughs> well, uh, that was depressing. How about we change the subject? Now then, I have one last thing to give each of you. One for you. Oh, thank you. One for you. Uh, thanks. And finally, one for you. Pokebit. Um, Professor, what is this anyway? I'm glad you asked. The device that I gave you is called a Pokebit. It's a variety of functions used for any function. Occasionally, it has a map of all terrorists, a phone, a radio built right in. That just makes it sound like a standard Poke gear. There has to be more to it than that. Yes, actually. In addition to having the bare necessities of a Poke gear, it has a Pokedex built in. Really? That's amazing. You should see what information it has on your Pokemon. So the train ideal, so be careful not to lose it. What's with this indent in the Pokebit? Well, I can't tell you everything about the Poke bit. Have fun figuring that one out. Right. Well, Professor, I'll be on my way out now. Okay, feel free to stop by again any time. I will. And as an apology to three of you, here's something you can three use as soon as you leave. Oh my gosh, I need to save. I should have did a, did a cliffhanger. I hope to see the three of you later on down the road. Come on, please. Well, that was nice of you to give us Pokeballs. Well then, that's, that finishes business here. Go out and enjoy yourselves. If any other questions, feel free to call me. I'm already registering myself in Pokebits. You may have... I saw a nice clearing on the way here. Now that we can catch Pokemon, let's go there and see what we can find. You two do that, but I'm going to get a move on. Oh my gosh. Yo, look at that edgy look. 
just a tip. Get good, or you won't stand a chance in all terrors. What is that guy's problem? Well, then I'll meet you at the clearing. Okay, finally. Well, you have your m cool. Oh my gosh, fucking made a noise, but you should check it. <gasps> hey. Um. Okay, there was a bit of lag there. There is a little bit of lag. Hold up. Okay, that's better. Alright, so we're gonna check on gestation over here. Sassy nature, not bad. Magic guard, perfect. E. Silent, E. Alright, well, I will tell you right now, I will be soft resetting for better nature, so don't get used to gestation. And I guess I will finally wrap up this here episode. But yeah, there is so much more to this game. And I can't wait to experience it. So if you guys enjoyed, you know, comment, like, and subscribe. If you're excited, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.